What is going on everybody? It's your boy Austin and uh, today we got another episode of what to build. This request came from WVMG Midget on GT Planet. He asked for an R33 Skyline GTR for drag. Um, so yeah, we'll get right into it. We got no conversion. I left the stock engine and the stock drivetrain, which is all wheel drive. Um, I went in and fully built the motor. So you got the racing intake. The race ignition, skipped over the fuel system, but that's race. Uh, race exhaust, the race cams and valves, race valves, got the race engine block, race pistons and compression, you got the racing twin turbo, your intercooler, oil and cooling, and your flywheel, they're all race. Um, with the platform handling, same thing, except there's one thing that we didn't do, we did do the race brakes to race springs and dampers both front anti-roll and rear anti-roll bars are race um, this is the part here the ch stock chassis reinforcement roll cage because I was hurting the launch well not really the launch but the acceleration um, and then full weight reduction uh, drivetrain same thing race clutch race trans race drive line and the racing differential you want to have all that tires we got the race tire compound I maxed the front tire width and the rear tire width for rims I went with the specialized weld racing Illumistar 2.0 drag race wheels uh, when it comes to rim size leave that stock the body stuff I did stock front bumper I removed the wing stock rear bumper, the stock side skirts, and I did the top secret hood. So with that all out of the way, we will go do like three test runs here and then after that I will show the tune and then that will be it for this episode of What to Build. Uh, the one downfall to this car though is the fact that you only really get 620 horsepower if you build it the way I did um, so if you guys can be just a little more specific in the future maybe um, if you want like for example if he realistically wanted me to put a V8 in it rear wheel drive um, just let me know that as well like put drag R33 Skyline V8 swap so and so just kind of be a little bit more specific so I can get you guys exactly what you want to see Not just kind of what I think you want to see So here we're gonna give it a test run this car. I do launch on the launch control method with the handbrake um, So yeah, let's do these three test runs so you guys can see what it's capable of This is a four speed car well, it has six gears, but I only run four. So you see, you trapped about 143. So realistically, you're gonna get, you're more or less gonna get your ass beat if you get yourself against um, like a good tuned rear wheel drive V8 car. You're still gonna lose, even though you're all wheel drive. Now you can try rev bombing this car. Just like that, I'm pretty sure it'll still trap about 140 though. Yes, yeah, so that time was like 142. Still about the same, but I think you get off the line just a little more aggressively by rev bombing it. But the thing is, um, it's the rev bomb method with all wheel drive cars typically isn't as, how do you say, it's not as consistent because when I rev the car like this with the launch control method it's gonna keep that consistent boost level um, so if you bring up the telemetry you will see on the right hand side well right hand side the left hand side there where it says boost yeah I'm making negative 0.9 pounds of boost with the handbrake method but as soon as I take off it's building up to 24 pounds um, if I did the rev bomb method, see how it's fluctuating all over the place? 
but then sometimes the car will bog out like that. So that's kind of the inconsistencies you're going to have if you try and rev bomb the car. But if you're lucky, you it will launch and it will just shit and get. So, like usually if you get the car to roll a little bit before you launch, it will actually go. But still, there's a lot of inconsistency with with the rev bomb method. So, um, with all that said, here we will give the tune out if you want to just put it in yourself because that way you can adjust the tune later on if you'd like or if you don't feel like doing all this you can also get this tune from my storefront uh, Turbo Junkie 34 is my gamer tag you can see in the upper left so uh, yeah we got 17.0 front tire pressure 15.0 in the rear uh, I believe I left first second third fourth fifth and sixth all factory like how it comes and I just adjusted the final drive to 4.05 zero camber and tow 7.0 front caster stiffen the hell out of the anti-roll bars maximum the hell out 65 it's all you need keeps the car going straight essentially because it's allowing the car's body roll to stay more consistent because it stiffens everything up Springs, um, obviously you want to lower the ride height because all-wheel drive cars you want to be lower to the ground. Low, um, the only cars you really want to run rally springs on are like the rear-wheel drive cars. Front-wheel drive and like front-wheel drive and four-wheel drive, you want to have the ride height all the way lowered and you can run the racing springs. Um, so we run a 907.1 spring rate in the front with a 922 in the rear damping i believe i left that alone 14.2 12.4 6.3 and 5.5 no arrow don't touch you don't really have to touch the brakes unless you want to uh 50 100 differential i did 100 percent rear and the front I put the 75 with 0% decel and 60% balance. So if you'd like to um, get this tune in my storefront, it is right here. I'm calling it drag, so we're just going to put that up right now. Average. And there it is. If you guys want to get it off of my storefront, that's how you can do it as well. But uh, yeah, that is it for this episode of What to Build. Keep those requests coming, and I'll keep the content coming. So with that said, I will see you guys in the next video.